enough, I saw my soul a good price out of sight. My hope got talent. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss any updates from Game and Drinks. Hello. Friends, I will be guiding you with one of my favorite heroes in Arena of Color, Drek. Let's see the skills, then I will show you how to use them in-game. Grax passive is Blood Ritual. Whenever Grax takes damage equal to or more than 10% of his current HP, he triggers an explosion, dealing magic damage to surrounding enemies. This passive has a 2 second cooldown. Blood Ritual will also activate upon Grax's death, dealing extra damage. Therefore, Grax can collect kills even when he is dead. First ability, Earthquake. Grax stomps the ground, dealing magic damage and slowing surrounding enemies. The damage and slowing effect is doubled when enemies are close to Grax. Due to its low cooldown, Grax can also use Earthquake frequently to slow his foes. Second ability, Devil's Chain. Grax throws a chain of hook to pull the first enemy hit towards him. Additionally, whenever Crack scores a kill or assist, he will gain 125 points of maximum HP up to a maximum of 20 stacks. This directional skill is Crack's main control ability. Ultimate World Devourer After a short delay, Crack disables all enemies in front of him and continuously drains away their HP while gaining a temporary shield. This is an AoE crowd control skill that can effectively help Rack's team win team fights. Spring. As I don't hit it, flip it for now. Spring will work well. Let's see the items that I will be using in game, as I will be using Cooldown Go. Item name Mantle of Raw. Item name, so get boots. Item name, medallion of trade. Item name, the Aegis. Item name, Frost King. Item name, Holy of Holies. Grax passive is Blood Ritual. Whenever Grax takes damage equal to or more than 10% of his current HP, he triggers an explosion, dealing magic damage to surrounding enemies. This passive has a 2 second cooldown. Blood Ritual will also activate upon Grax's death, dealing extra damage. To deal maximum damage, first pull the enemy with Devil's Chain, then slow him with Earthquake, followed by World Devourer to complete the kill. However, sometimes Earthquake and Devil's Chain is all it takes to score the kill. To effectively control the enemy, approach him and use Earthquake first, then use World Devourer to disable and damage the enemy. Once the enemy tries to escape, Use Devil's Chain to pull him back and score the kill. Alternatively, Crack can initiate with Devil's Chain and follow up with Earthquake. Overall, Crack has the combination of formidable control abilities and incredible damage, allowing him to turn around battles at ease. You can start the match from mid lane, but it depends on your team, how good they are. I play mid lane with Grek. If your team is nice, you can easily secure one kill at the start of the match. See I am making sure that the opponent is in my second skill range. See, Batman, health is very low. With Grek, you can chase your opponent and secure your kill from second skill. But over here I know, Batman is running towards base, so I am aiming my second skill a little ahead of Batman.
to get the kill. I know the opponent is angry. So the opponent's teammate will try to take revenge of his teammate. Now the opponent will follow me to kill me anyhow. I will make him follow me under my tower. Almost there. And then... BAM! Kill him all in. Making use of Tower Whip, Greg, is very helpful. Have you noticed? The range of my second skill goes more than the distance from the range. Second skill can also be used, while the opponent is using, his skills. With Marksman, Rick is very useful. Ultimate skill, Greg. Attains a shield for few seconds. to hide, and make use of second skill.
Shichi Gand, sorry.